Scripture teaches us that for everything there is a season, a time for every purpose under heaven. My friends, no matter what title you all, my colleagues, have bestowed upon me, speaker, leader, whip, there is no greater official honor for me than to stand on this floor and to speak for the people of San Francisco. This I will continue to do as a member of the House, speaking for the people of San Francisco, serving the great state of California, and defending our Constitution. And with great confidence in our caucus, I will not seek re-election to Democratic leadership in the next Congress. For me, the hours come for a new generation to lead the Democratic caucus that I so deeply respect. And I'm grateful that so many are ready and willing to shoulder this awesome responsibility. Madam Speaker, standing here today, I'm endlessly grateful for all of life's blessings. For my Democratic colleagues whose courage and commitment with the support of your families have made many of these accomplishments possible. In fact, could not have been done without you. For my dear husband, Paul, who has been my beloved partner in life and my pillar of support, thank you. We're all grateful for all the prayers and well wishes as he continues his recovery. Thank you so much. <laughs>